Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this wash and go hairstyle, so stay tuned. As always, I'm standing for a freshly washed hair. I'm going to be trying out the Wetline Extreme Gel, and this is what it looks like. So as always, I'm going to be sectioning my hair into four sections, so that way I can work the products through my hair evenly. Today I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Fresh Girl Revitalizing Smoothie and I love this smoothie so much, it's really lightweight, it don't weigh my hair down at all as you guys can see. Next I'm going to take my denim brush and detangle my hair. When applying the gel to my hair, as you guys can see, I'm starting from the ends, go straight up to the roots, and raking my fingers through my hair. Next, I'm going to move on and show you guys how I achieve the rubber band hairstyle. So what you want to do is part your hair into a square. And what I do is start from the middle. So here, I'm trying to get a perfect square so that I can apply the rubber bands to my hair. After doing a big square, I'm going to do four smaller squares. Two in the front and two behind. And then I'm going to make an X with it. So keep watching to see what I'm talking about.
So here I am applying the gel to my hair, just doing it to when applying the rope band. It won't be bumpy and it will be really smooth. Next, I'm just gonna apply the rubber bands to that small square. Next, I'm gonna do the other square and I'm repeating exactly the same thing I did to the first one. Apply the gel and smooth in my hair with the comb and the toothbrush I use as a small brush. And of course, I'm gonna apply the rubber band. It's really simple and easy and this hairstyle is approximately less than 30 minutes, honestly. As I told you guys earlier, I'm making four squares to that section, but what I'm going to do is when I'm joining the hair, I'm going to put it to the opposite direction, and that way I can make an X. And this will actually brings out the hairstyle, in my opinion. When I first started high school and I started combing my hair for myself, I used to do a lot of rubber band hairstyle and this one was one of my favorites. For the end here, I am just putting one row band. I don't think I need too much tension on the side of my hair, so I just choose to put one rubber band. As you guys can see, it looked really smooth and there is no bumps. And the reason for that is because I was combing the hair out and I was brushing it before I applied the rubber band, and that will give it the smooth, sleek looking effect. And of course, I'm going to be repeating the same thing to the other side of my hair, which is I'm making a big square. Then I'm going to make four smaller squares. And when applying the rubber bands to my hair, I'm going to do it like a crisscross. You get it? Yeah. So as you can see, I'm trying to get that perfect part. Comb the hair out so that you can be smooth. Then apply the gel. Then apply the rubber band. But I can't stress to you guys how much important it is to comb your hair out and ensure that it's smooth because this is what really makes the hairstyle look good, you know? I'm going to be repeating the same thing throughout my entire hair, so stay tuned.
I'm just applying water to my hair to soften my hair. This is totally optional. You really don't need to do this. I just like working on wet hair. Next, I'm just gonna take my blow dryer and blow dry my hair so that way it can dry faster than leaving it to air dry. This is my final result. As you can see, this gel got my hair looking really shiny. And yeah, I really enjoy using this product and I will be using this gel more often. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you're going to try this Roban hairstyle I used to do years ago. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.